Hi everyone. So last week I put out a video showing the solar installation that my parents got recently and as part of that video I said I would do a separate follow-up video explaining why I thought that Intelligent Octopus Flux was the best tariff for them to be on and this is that video. So what I'm going to do is show you my solar tariff optimizer tool and work through the example of um, my parents usage and their solar generation and uh, I will show you why I came to that conclusion. So let's get to it. So this is my solar tariff optimizer tool. If you've not seen this before, it's a simple web application. You just go to the URL timandcatsgreenwalk.co.uk and it'll bring up this web page. Um, I did a video about it a little while ago. I'll put a link above my head um, if you want to go and watch that. When That's when I launched it um, a few weeks ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, you just enter a few uh, simple numbers and it should tell you what your um, what the best tariff for you to be on um, is for either the whole year or if you wanted to switch partway through the year, you can do that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, for the purposes of this um, example, I'm going to use some numbers from my parents' installation and their usage and we'll see what it says. Um, if you've used this tariff tool before or um, you think that the work I do is, is valuable in some way, um, then please do consider supporting the work that I'm doing here through one of these options here. You can either switch to Octopus using this link here and that will give you £50 credit when you switch but also it will give me £50 credit so that would be really good. If you want to make a one-off donation you can do that through the Buy Me A Coffee link there or if you want to do a continuous £2 per month uh, donation, then you can come and join us over on the Patreon. And uh, I'll uh, run various polls every now and again, asking for your, your opinion on what features I should add to the tool. And we'll do some uh, Q&A sessions with, uh, with me and Kat um, down the road when we get a few more people in on the Patreon. So yeah, come and join us over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up for my parents and I've uh, taken the liberty of already preparing a few of the numbers. I've set their battery capacity to zero for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to set it up so prior to when they had their solar install to show you what the what their bill would have been and then I'm going to add the solar install and see what difference that makes. So I've set the battery to zero and I've set the generation to zero as well and they don't have a heat pump so I've set um, the heating use to zero and the hot water use to zero and they don't, don't have an EV either so I've set the EV use to zero. So I'm just using these quick settings here which are the annual values that you enter. This is the simplest way to, uh, to use this, this tool. Um, and then for their home usage, that's everything they used um, in their home. I asked my dad what they used in 2024 and it was roughly 1500 kilowatt hours. Now that's very, very low usage uh, compared to the average. Uh, from most people, they have a, a modest three bedroom detached house and they use about four kilowatt hours a day. So only 1500 kilowatt hours in the year. So that's set up for all their um, uh, current uh, or their previous usage. And um, if they were on the basic flexible tariff from Octopus, that would mean their annual bill would be about £574.49. So um, the way I've done this is I've, I've currently turned off all of the other tariffs. I'll scroll right, right down here to the tariff section. I've turned off all of the tariffs except for the flexible tariff and that's the only one I've left on here um, just to show you um, what their situation would have been uh, prior to adding um, solar. So. So keep this in mind. I'll, re I'll uh, remind you of this um, in a minute. But initially, their um, bill would have been £574.49 for the year. So let's start adding um, a, uh, their solar array. Now, um, I know for a fact that um, their current generation is about 4,021 kilowatt hours per year. Now, I'll show you how I came to that conclusion in a second. And they've got a battery install of 5.1 two kilowatt hours. So you can see immediately if they stuck with the flexible um, uh, octopus tariff they would start to uh, save quite a bit and in fact their bill would become negative to the tune of £182.62. However we can do better than that so what I'm going to do I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and I'm going to start turning on some of these other options. So I'm going to I'm going to ignore the Eon Next drive for now because they're with Octopus, so they um, they don't really want to switch uh, to a different supplier. But I'm going to turn on all of these other options. So by doing that, that that's the full gamut of the um, Octopus tariffs that uh, that I've provided as default in this um, tool. These are for the um, West Midlands values, which are um, pretty much what my parents would be on. Um, but I'm going to leave those as they are for now. Um, and if I scroll back up to the top, uh, this would then tell me what the um, annual uh, savings would be now if they were to stick with one tariff for the whole year. The tariff tool has calculated the best tariff uh, and the best strategy and it suggests that now the tariff they should be on is the Intelligent Flux tariff. And if they were to do that, they would earn 
446 pounds and 54 pence over the year. Now, if I compare that to the previous um, value of 574 pounds 49, um, I'm gonna bring my notes up here so I can read them. So that's a total saving of 1,021 pounds in the first year, which is um, excellent. Uh, so given that their install was about just shy of 9,000 pounds, that's a payback in less than nine years. So that's pretty decent. Um, and that's assuming that obviously the, the prices of uh, electricity stay the same. So if the price of electricity goes up at all, which it likely will, then that will uh, obviously be um, somewhat shorter than that. So that's a great place to start. Now that's the saving they could make if they just stuck with Intelligent Flux for the whole year, but could they do any better? Well, my tariff tool does give you the best tariff for every single individual month as well, and that's given in this monthly breakdown table here. But as you can see, the vast majority of the year, actually sticking with Intelligent Flux is by far the best option. Um, and if they were to switch to Intelligent Go, for example, um, for a couple of months over the winter, they could do as well as minus uh, 465 pounds, so earning 465 pounds in the year. But that's only about 20 quid better than if they stuck with Intelligent Flux for the whole year. So uh, my advice to my parents is basically just stick with Intelligent Flux and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, now you can see that graphically. If I scroll a bit further down to the bottom, you can see this nice little chart here. Now I'm gonna turn off a few of these um, options here because I think uh, this is a little bit cluttered. So let me start by turning off everything except for the standard flexible tariff and intelligent flux. And you can see here, this is the, um, the bill each month. So the lower down on this um, axis on the left-hand side, um, the better, so the lower the cost. And in fact, when it's negative, that means they'll be earning money in, in each of these months. And you can see for every single one of the months through the year, uh, Intelligent Flux does a lot better than the flexible and um, the standard flexible tariff. But if they had an EV, for example, um, and they were able to get Intelligent Go, let me switch that one on and let me turn off the, um, the flexible tariff. So we've only got the two to compare. So as you can see, Intelligent Go would only really be better than um, Intelligent Flux for maybe three months of the year and then marginal for another couple of months. Um, and this big chunk in the middle um, during uh, the summer, it's definitely the case that Intelligent Flux is, is the better option. Um, but obviously they can't get Intelligent Go because they don't have an EV. And um, if they did uh, get an EV, then that might change the numbers anyway, and it might become more viable to switch to Intelligent Go. But uh, until that time comes, uh, I'm happy to uh, suggest to them to stick with Intelligent Flux for the whole year. And it's um, good for them as well because uh, Intelligent Flux is a tariff where um, Octopus control your battery system, and it means that they can just uh, get on with their lives and let Octopus control the charging and discharging of their battery. And I've done other videos on that um, uh, in the past, so you can go and watch those if you're interested. Now, if you um, want to go on in, onto Intelligent Flux, there are only a certain number of battery options available to you, one of which is the Give Energy system that my parents have got. I believe Powerwall um, is also available on the, um, the Give Energy system, and I think um, the Solar Edge system as well is, uh, is available via the uh, Intelligent Flux um, uh, system. So if you want to um, confirm whether or not your battery is compatible with Intelligent Flux, go to the Octopus website and um, yeah, take a look and it will tell you whether or not uh, your battery is compatible with Intelligent Flux. Now there's one last thing I want to show you and that's how I came up with this value of 4,021 kilowatt hours. Um, I actually used Gary Does Solar's new Solarasma tool, um, which you can go to if you go to solarasma.com. And I've set up my parents' um, uh, system. I, they have a south array of 2.2 kilowatt peak and an east array of 2.2 kilowatt peak. And I think their south um, array has a sh small shading factor of about 5%. I'll put a link to Gary's video. He can explain all of the um, controls here. And I uh, plug that in and I hit go and it came up with the value of 4,021 uh, kilowatt hours. I'm gonna move my face because it's slightly in the way. So there you go, you can see uh, 4,021 kilowatt hours per year. So I added that into my tool and that's how I came up with, with those values there. So there you go. If you've got relatively low consumption and a decent solar array with a compatible battery system, then Intelligent Flux is well worth a look. So yeah, go and check that out. So as long as you're happy for Octopus to control your system for you, then it's a great tariff. And uh, my parents are certainly very happy um, with that choice. Um, and I hope you found that interesting and useful. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.